First, let us understand high specific heat with a simple example. Imagine you are at a beach on a sunny day. The sand under your feet is scorching hot while the ocean water is still cool. This is because sand has a lower specific heat. It heats up and cools down quickly while water has high specific heat that takes much longer to change its temperature. This property of water to resist changes in temperature is called high specific heat capacity. Or in other words, it takes a lot of heat to increase the temperature of liquid water. Because the hydrogen bonding between water molecules is very strong. Or high amount of heat is required to break hydrogen bonds between water molecules. The high specific heat of water is approximately 4.18 joules per gram per degree Celsius. That means it takes 4.18 joules of energy to raise the temperature of 1 gram of water by 1 degree Celsius. This is significantly higher than most other substances. Take the case of sand. It has only 0.84 joules per gram degree Celsius. That is why large Water bodies like oceans and lakes absorb heat from the sun during the day without changing the temperature or without temperature rise drastically. At night, when the air cools down, the water slowly releases the stored heat, maintaining a moderate climate in coastal areas. Now let us discuss high heat of vaporization. It refers to the amount of energy needed to change 1 gram of a liquid substance to a gas at constant temperature. Let's take a simple example. Let's compare ethanol and water. To convert water, liquid water to gas or the boiling point, the heat of vaporization value is 40.65 kilojoule per molecule or at 100 degrees Celsius, that's the water's boiling point. Whereas the boiling point of ethanol is 78.3 degrees Celsius. That means hydrogen bonds in ethanol is weak compared to the hydrogen bond between molecules in water. Or more heat energy is required to break the hydrogen bonds to convert it in from liquid state to the gaseous state. Let's take one more example. When we exercise, on a hot day, our body sweats. The water on our skin absorbs the heat from our body and evaporates, turning from liquid to gas. This process of evaporation requires a lot of heat that is due to water's high heat of vaporization. As the sweat evaporates, it takes away heat from our body, helping to cool us down, called evaporative cooling. Or high amount of energy or heat is required to change water in liquid form to vapor or gaseous state. In humans and other organisms, the evaporation of sweat, which is about 99% water, cools the body to maintain a steady temperature. Hope you are clear with the difference between high heat of vaporization and high specific heat capacity of water. Take care, stay blessed. Thank you so much. You are with biologicsamsforyou.com.